Michelle Pfeiffer said that she loved working on Maleficent so much because it made her feel safe having so many women there and she really, really liked that. How, how was your experience there and do you kind of concur with what she said? Well, her scenes were mostly with me and Alice mm -hmm. in that in that strength. Um, yes, I, I do, but I, I also, you know, Sam's amazing and Chu Tell's amazing, so I, there's a, there's a big family there. Yeah. Elle said she, one of the things she's most proud of is like the evolution of your all's relationship on and off screen, and that's really been very important to her and special to her. Oh, and me too. I love her. Yeah. She's, I feel very, very close to her. And, um, when we were talking to the Eternals cast, everybody just felt like a collective sigh of relief that you guys can finally talk about this movie, that you can say stuff about it, we can see you all. I mean, we, I'm not so sure what we can say. <laughs> did they know? It's one of those Marvel things. I still think we were still seeing each other behind the screen saying, wait, did you, did you hear? Did, I didn't know Kit was in the film. <laughs> you didn't? No, neither did the... Not, no. Did you just find that out today? Yeah, on stage. I love that. <laughs> so we're saying we're, we're That's all, our Marvel. <laughs> the whole thing. I'm thrilled, but I had no idea. Playing a superhero puffs you up a little bit, makes you feel a little bit more empowered. It does, but it's a little... You know what it is, though? You get the outfit on, and you're feeling really like, you know, and then you see your kids, and you're like, you know, and then the way they look at you, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, then you get nicely brought back down to earth. Like, you are that. so weird, Mom. Speaking of your tribe, you have such a tight-knit tribe. Taking Maddox and sending send him off to college, is everybody kind of like walking around in a daze, missing him? It was. What was very beautiful is the way everybody said goodbye. When it was time for him to, to, to I, you know, take him to the airport, and some jumped in the car to take him, and everybody was a bit, every, but everybody, uh, just when you know that your kids love each other, and you see the way they all, without any kind of prompting or pushing, give each other notes, hug each other, take care of each other, support each other, then you feel like they're going to be okay and they're going to always have each other. So That just kind of gave me goosebumps because the way you put your family together I think is a lesson for all of us on how to just really, seriously, on how to just love, you know? And hearing that, it's really sweet. Have you stopped crying yet? No. <laughs> did you have the ugly cry? I can't imagine Angelina having oh the ugly cry, but did you have I'm the so ugly cry? Like embarrass your children, ugly cry. I more did like I just I also just at some point at the big glasses and I can't, I think it was like the amount of times I turned and waved. It was like I do know it was the one moment in my life I think I turned around six times before like the airport just kind of you know, to just you know and he sweetly stayed and kept waving, knowing that I was going to keep turning around. You could feel that he, he knew he couldn't leave. But you know what? He was feeling that, too. Somebody, because I tried to be cool when my mom dropped me off, but inside I was like, oh, don't leave me, mama. Don't leave me, mama. So he was feeling that, too. I don't know. He's pretty... It, it's nice to know that he knows how much he's loved. And, and uh, but yeah, I miss him. I miss him. Oh, well, he'll be back soon enough. We're all just... Get out there. It's not like I haven't already set my plane to. Right. So. Thank you, Angelina. Good Bye. to see you.